All right, guys, Tacta Pants coming back at you with a Spider Co. review of a Spider Co. Bird, uh, specifically the Spider Co. Bird Robin 2 in uh, G10 handles. I uh, got this from a buddy for a Christmas get together deal. Super thankful. I'll do a shout out to JoJo just real quick. Uh, we're going to do a pretty buzz cut review of this thing, just bare bones type of deal. Um, you know, features, construction, stuff like that, ergonomics, um, then my rating at the end like we do. Uh, so going over the construction just real quick, we have a 8CR13 MOV blade, uh, full flat ground, um, got some jimping on the top here, uh, we'll go over that some more later. Um, the handles here are G10, like I said earlier, uh, you know, the clip's just regular stainless steel, regular stainless steel here. So uh, features, this thing is pretty packed full of them for a small, I would say small to medium sized um, everyday carry knife. I would prefer something just a tad bit bigger, but this thing seems to suit most of my everyday carry needs. Um, and I'm just going to spoil this. I never do this hardly or haven't so far, but I'm just going to go right there out, out there and say it. This is a 9 out of 10 likability for me. Uh, yeah, 9 out of 10 for all the stuff we're going to go through just real quick. If that's all you needed, then go out and buy it. Um, it's about 24 bucks on Amazon last time I checked. Um, so go out there and find it if you want to. Um, I'll get the affiliate link thing figured out with YouTube here in just a little bit. Uh, so we have uh, some jimping up here on the top of the blade, some jimping on the bottom, and some jimping on the actual frame, all of which is highly functional in controlling this little bit of a blade. Which, and let me check my uh, reference sheet real quick. Uh, we have a 1.87 inch uh, blade. Sorry about being off camera there. 1.87 inch blade. So the blade is not terribly long, but for most stuff, opening a box, carving up a little piece of wood, I mean, whatever you want, for most stuff, this is going to get it done. It is not, however, you know, tactical self-defense folder. Moving on, uh, we have these ridges here, which, and my hands are medium sized for the most part. Um, they fit this knife very well. I'm able to get all of my fingers on comfortably, fit my thumb in that uh, jimping there, and get a whole bunch of control, as much even as the much larger knives, knives with three and a half, four inch blades, for this very small, you know, knife overall. I mean, you see the, just the pocket clip takes up almost, you know, the entire knife, three quarters of the knife. Um, so these um, finger grooves here are very comfortable and ergonomic. This little flat shelf here is what you kind of use for your pinky finger there, um, you know, kind of be able to adjust as you're uh, cutting whatever you need to do. Uh, going back to construction just for a second, this thing is put uh, fully together with torque screws, I believe T7 variety, and then the pivot screw is a uh, T8. Um, and I did switch the pocket clip from tip up to tip down because it carries deeper in the pocket that way for this particular knife, and I dig it. Uh, the clip is pretty much awesome, nothing to write home about, standard Spyderco. You're not going to have to tighten it, you're not going to have to screw around with it. Pick a position that you like, one of four, because you have right hand, left hand, tip up and tip down, whatever kind of flavor you want. Uh, you'll be happy with that. Uh, the screws are um, like one-sided, so you have you know, your one side of the push pin here. Um, you know, Once you take out that screw, you'll push the pin out, and uh, you can take this thing completely apart and disassemble it, which I haven't yet. But if you get it into sand or gunk or whatever, then you can. Uh, I actually every day carried this um, on a recent trip to Mexico. And it worked out great, real lightweight and stuff for wearing shorts and whatnot. Uh, just kind of a side note. Uh, moving back here, uh, all the way to the back, because we're moving kind of uh, from the blade uh, backwards towards the back. Uh, we have a lanyard hole, and of course your three screws move the pocket clip. This lanyard hole is too small for 550 cord, but um, I don't know, something else might work if you wanted to throw a smaller zip tie in there, like I have on my small Kershaw, or uh, some other type of lanyard, that might work well. Uh, moving up, you have... Uh, full steel liners in this, by the way, if anybody didn't notice. And you can see in there, they are skeletonized to try to reduce some of the weight. Um, don't have my flashlight on me to show you guys inside there. Um, you have some, you know, milling out of the back spacer here, which kind of gives it a better um, look, in my opinion. You have a, I believe that's a Boyd's uh, spring detent, whatever. Um, just a design thing. Uh, works real good. The back lock is... Uh, you're able to activate it one-handed, you know, deactivate the knife, whatever you want to call it. 
uh, open it, close it, whatever. That all works great. Um, you know, as long as you practice with it just a little bit. Front backspace, they're not machined out at all. That's all right for me. And for what it is, it's not a super light knife. Uh, let me check my spec sheet again real quick here. Uh, 2.5 ounces. So it's not like an ultra light knife. If I could change one thing about this, the only thing I would change is for it to have um, skeletonized on the back, not skeletonized, um, to not have a backspacer, to be like pillar construction, um, like a couple other Spider Co's are, and a couple other of my knives are. That would just bring the weight down a little bit. And really, honestly, all that is, is making it easier to clean. So when there's pocket lint or you get it in the mud and there's gunk down in there, you can blow into this little vent or blow into the back and clear all that out. But uh, overall, 9 out of 10, really solid knife. I've been every day carrying this for a while. Um, I keep flip-flopping between this and another knife, which I'll have here up on my channel shortly. That's a little bit bigger. And this is very slowly kind of getting beat out by that other knife for everyday carry just because of that little bit longer blade. But still a great choice. Uh, check out the other Spyderco Bird knives. I'll probably um, you know, get a couple more of them on the channel eventually. Because uh, I really do dig this style, just I'd like a little bit longer blade. So uh, that's me, Tacked Pants, shooting out this review. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Uh, I'll check back with you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.